Trader Tim Bigum of Delta Derivatives joins us now for the Trader Rundown. Big swings once again in the stock market. Yeah, absolutely. And you're happy. Absolutely. Traders love this kind of price action. Volatility is opportunity in my opinion, so we are absolutely seeing the volatility. I think it will continue for a little bit, but going into the end of the year, normally a seasonally bullish period, that vol should calm down a little bit. Well, that's what a lot of people are saying. Even though we're seeing these big dips in the stock market, at the end of the day, the market tends to rally into the end of the year, and sometimes you get a January bump. So, do you think that's going to happen? Do you have any indications? Or are you just sort of surmising here? <laughs> it normally happens, but this has not been a normal market to say the least over the past couple of years. But I think given the fact we've come down so sharply, probably portends for a bigger probability of that year-end rally just on valuation. Stock looking pretty attractive now that we've seen almost that 10% pullback. What do you think is driving the market? Yeah, combination of things. Obviously, fears coming out of China, one of the big things, slowing growth as well, rising interest rates. Washington kind of in disarray so it's really not one thing but that combination of everything has lowered the multiples that people are looking I think to pay for stocks that uncertainty makes multiples lower stocks cheaper you have Colgate on your trading list why there has been big-time repeat call buying all the way out in February on the out of money calls February 70 calls last I looked stock around 62 but over 20,000 of these have traded over the past week unrelenting call buying more importantly implied volatility fancy way of saying the price of the options has gone from 20 to almost 28 so these calls are up big the out of the money puts are actually up as well with the stock up a dollar so I'm jumping in selling the 60 puts 70 calls looking to lean a little bullishly with that call buyer out there but more importantly capture that big implied volatility bump I wonder what's behind that move because Colgate came out with its earnings and it was not a great earnings report yeah, absolutely at all. this was post earnings so you'd expect vol to be lower not higher but you know some they don't tell you till after the fact to what's going on many times. Well, thanks for cluing us you in. Bet. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.